Right, hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel now today. Today we are going to be talking about Wrexham FC manager Phil Parkinson and how some Wrexham fans are not happy with the football he's playing and some going as far as saying he needs to be sacked. So before we get into this, please make sure to drop a big thumbs up on this video. Can we smash 64 likes on today's video? Please hit the red subscribe button as well. If you are new, turn the notification bell on so you can watch my videos as soon as they come out and be one of the first to view them. You're smashing the support recently, so let's see if you can do it again on this one. So, a lot of Wrexham FC fans aren't happy with the start we have made, and they're putting the full blame on Phil Parkinson and Steve Parkin. Now, first of all, I just want to know, what do you think on this situation? Are you Parkinson in? Or Parkinson out. I'm going to be trying to be neutral on this video, although I don't want to be. I'm actually no. I'm going to go. It's Parkinson in. We can't sack a manager like Phil Parkinson eight games into the season. We're sitting in the last playoff spot in seventh, but yet the fans want him to get the sack. A lot of people saying he is finished as a manager. Again, I totally disagree with that. He's too experienced to get it wrong in this league. Like, he would know if something's up with the team and he will change it straight away. It's not like he's in his first managerial job of his career. He's young. He's not. He's managed Bolton, Sunderland. He's been around the Championship and League One for many years. And he will not get this wrong with Wrexham FC. So, yeah, the tally so far in the table, we've played eight games, won three, drawn three, lost two, and we've picked up a possible... Uh, we've picked up 12 points out of a possible 24, so we've picked up 50% of the points that are on offer. But in those first eight games, we have played five of the strongest teams in this division. Notts County, Southend United, Stockport, Grimsby Town and Dagenham and Redbridge. In, in those eight games, and they're the easier games we've played... We've picked up seven points out of a possible nine. We haven't done too bad against the bigger teams. We drew with Notts County. We could have won that. South End, we did well to come from 2-0 down. Stockport, we should have got a result out of. Grimsby, we were just... We sounded terrible. But Dagenham, we did pick up a 1-0 win. And I do... I think they do remain top of the league still. We're the only teams who have beaten them. So it clearly shows that we are a good team and deserve to be in and around like the top five-ish. I do understand that the football that Phil Parkinson sets the team out to play isn't the most attractive, but it's not what non-league is known for. You're not going to get the way PSG play, tick attack of football, skillful. It's non-league, for God's sake. It's, you, you, what are we expecting? We play good football as it is. Paul Mullin as well, he can... He's probably one of our most skillful players. We're not known as a skillful team, but we we as well we play poor. For example, Dagen and Woking. But the thing is, we still get a result out of the game. In in the matter of when we played Dagen and we weren't at our best. Easily, we were, weren't at our best, but we picked up a win and denied them a point at least. And they were top of the league, and they do remain top of the league. So they more positives than negatives to bring out of this situation. Wrexham fans as well are also screaming out for a formation change or a centre defensive midfielder. Now the problem is Luke Young, James Jones and McAlinden all love to attack. Bear in mind we play a 5-3-2. So we've got Young, Jones and McAlinden in midfield. Uh, on the occasion it's Jordan Davis but he's out injured at the minute. Young, he loves to attack. He's known to score goals. James Jones, he's known as a centre defensive midfielder, but his role at the club is more of a centre midfielder, more attacking than defending. And Liam McAlinden, he is a striker or a centre attacking midfielder. So we've got three attacking players. Only one out of those three can really properly defend. and But that leaves a huge gap in the midfield for the opposition to exploit, which is the main problem at the minute. We're sorted at the back. In attack, we're sorted, but it's the midfield where every time we push forward, we get hit on the counter-attack. There's just an empty gap in the midfield where there should be a midfielder there. 
but all of our midfielders are in the opposition's half attacking. I'm saying midfielders a lot. Like I previously said as well, Phil Parkinson is far too experienced to get this one wrong. He must know on the touchline that something's up with the midfield and that we need a new player there. Obviously, we had talks with Callum Guy, supposedly, uh, but that never went through. We'd, I'd have loved to have got him in the club, a very good player, but it wasn't to be. So I'm sure when we play Aldershot on Saturday, I'm hoping there will be uh, maybe a new formation change. I'd love to see the club go 4-4-2, but I don't know who would push out on the wings, but we'd have to figure that one out. But yeah, that's the, another issue with the club. We don't have a midfield, basically. Well, we do, but it gets carved open far too often. Yeah, so I think the hate for Phil Parkinson is unnecessary. I don't want him out as a Wrexham fan. I think he he can definitely get us out of this division. He doesn't play pretty football. He's not known to play pretty football, as we've been told by Sunderland and Bolton fans in the past. But what they've said is he gets the best out of players. And he gets results and gets teams promoted. So hopefully that can happen to us. All this, Phil Parkinson out. He's, he's not on thin ice yet, but he's starting to crack. All these nonsense on Twitter of all these stupid fans. That's just a message to them to say, what, where's your logic? Where's your backup of this? So, yeah. And who knows? I might be wrong. Halfway through the season, we could be sitting mid-table. And who knows? This could be a more open debate where I'm half and half, half Parkinson in, half Parkinson out. But at the minute, we can't sack a manager like Parkinson eight games into the season. So yeah, I am Parkinson in. Hopefully he can get us promoted. Let me know what you do think on this matter. Are you Parkinson in or Parkinson out? Let me know in the comments section down below. Go and follow me on Instagram at one Liam Roberts. Subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notifications on and I will see you on Tuesday night for a game under the floodlights against Chesterfield. What a game it's going to be. I will see you guys then. Take care.